Welcome back to the final video in the BrailleSense Polaris Beginners Bootcamp. Yay! If you've made it to this point, great job. You have covered a ton of material with me, and I hope you feel really proud of what you've accomplished. In this final video, we are going to talk about the Google Play Store and accessing Bookshare books. The Google Play Store has a variety of applications you can download for various purposes. A very common application is Go Read, which allows you to access Bookshare books. Let's dive in a little more. So first, it's important to know that to access Bookshare, first, a couple of steps need to have happened. So first, you need to have a Google account. You may have a Google account through your school, or perhaps you made one with your parents. If you don't have a Google account, be sure to work with a family member or trusted adult. Second, you're going to need to have a Bookshare account. Again, if you don't have a Bookshare account, be sure to work with a family member or trusted adult. If you want to learn more about Bookshare, I will have a link in the video description that shares more information about Bookshare. Third, you must set up your Google account on the Polaris, which we will see in the first set in the first video of the three videos featured on this video. And then four, you must download the Go Read app. Please note that you must complete steps one and three before downloading other apps from the Play Store. So the next three slides are feature YouTube videos that are from Hims. Hims is the company who makes the Polaris. Hims creates videos and even has a support website to help people who use their devices. I think these three videos in particular do a fantastic job of explaining the Google Play Store and how to access Bookshare books, as well as setting up your Google account. Let's go ahead and dive into them. Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Axler. And in this video in our BrailleSense Polaris series, we're going to explore how to set up and sign into a Google account. You may be in various situations when you receive your Polaris, depending on whether you already have a Gmail account, whether you have had an Android device before, etc. So we're going to discuss where you might be in all of those situations, as well as show how to set up a Google account from scratch. I'm at my main menu, so I'll press A for all apps. The bottom of TTS voices. And I'll press S several times to get to settings. Screen, re screen report, screen sharing, zero, settings. And I'll press enter. The data usage enter key to select. And what I'm looking for is under personal, and accounts is not actually on the first screen, so I need to jump down a little bit. So personal. I'll press P, and then I'm going to press F3. Security enter key to select. Accounts enter key to select. And here's accounts, and I'll press enter. List Google enter key to select. And I actually want to add a new account, so I'm going to press the letter A. List and accounts enter key to select. And press enter here. Okay, list enter key to select. And it, now it gives me various types of accounts that I can add. Um, these are related to the types of programs I have on my unit, like Skype and Dropbox, etc. I want to add a Google account, so I'm going to press the letter G. List Google enter key to select. And I'll press enter. Add an account. Account setup. Sign in. Add your account. So now I have a couple of options. I can sign into an existing account if I have one here, or I can create a new account. We'll go to create. Now, just FYI, if you try to open the Play Store and you have not Before signed sorry. into your Google account, you can actually also do that there. You will get the same dialogue when you first open the Play Store as well. So I need your account. I'm going to tab here. More options. Press the enter key to check. Learn more. Enter key to select. Edit box disabled. If you need help finding your account or create a new account, enter key to select. And I'm going to press enter on create a new account. Or create a new account. Edit box disabled. First name, press enter to enter or edit text. And now it's going to ask me for all of my personal information. Now, when I press enter to enable the edit box and basically go into a forms type mode, these edit boxes are not going to be labeled. So what you want to do is actually tab through the edit boxes using F3 and then tab back and actually fill them in. So I have first name, 
it evolves with angle left, with angle next, last name and next. So I'm going to shift tab back. It evolves with angle left, it evolves with angle first name, press enter to enter. And I'll press tab. enter. And I'm going to type in my information. J E N N Y. And I'll press F3. And now I'll fill in the last name. E R. And I'll tab to next. Next number key to select. And I'll press enter. Google account. Method information. And again, I'm going to tab through the screen to see what it wants. Must press the enter key to change. Edit box disabled day. Press enter to enter or edit text. Edit box disabled here. Press enter to enter or gender. Press the enter key to change. Disabled next. Okay, so I have a couple of checkbox items and I have two edit boxes. So again I'm gonna shift tab back. Enter press the edit box disabled here. Edit box disabled day. Press enter to enter or edit text. Must press the enter key to change. And this is the first one, so I'm gonna press enter to change this. Checkbox not checked and press the enter key to toggle. And I need to go clear to December, so I'm gonna press F3 several times. Checkbox. Checkbox. Checkbox not checked off. Checkbox not checked off. Checkbox not checked off. Press the enter key to checkbox not checked off. Checkbox not checked off. Checkbox not checked off. Press the enter key to toggle. And I'm going to press the enter key to check this box. December press the enter key to change. And there we go. Edit box the same day. Press enter to enter or edit text. And now I have the day box, and I'm going to press enter to enable it. And I will type in two nine. Two nine. And again, I tapped forward, but it didn't read the edit box, but I know it needs the year, so I'm going to type in 1977. Seven. Seven. Gender, press the enter key to change. And now it wants my gender. Again, I'm going to press enter. Checkbox, not check mail, press the enter key to toggle. And I'm not a male, at least last time I checked. Checkbox, not check email, press the enter key to toggle. So I will check this box. Sign it. Email, press the enter key to change. And next enter key to select. I'm going to tab to next and press enter. Text partly signed. Edit box disabled. Username at gmail.com only use A to Z. Press enter to enter or edit text. Okay. And it and started. wants my username here. So again, I'm going to tab through to see what I want. Disabled. And all it wants is this because the next item is the next button. So I'm going to shift tab back with edit space up three. Press, press enter. enter. And I'll type in J A X L E R T D S T two. I already have a Jaxler test, so I'm gonna make it two. Next enter key to select. And I'll press enter next. Party sign green. Edit disabled password. Press enter to enter or edit text. Okay, and it wants a password. Again, I'm going to tab through the form. Edit box disabled password. Press enter to enter or edit text. So it wants that twice. It likes to verify. Disabled next. Okay, so I'm gonna shift tab back again. Edit box disabled password. Edit box disabled password. Press enter to enter or edit text. And again, I'm going to press enter. Only input the. And I type my password. Asterisk. 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 Recording started. And I'm going to tab, and it's going to ask me for it again. Only input computer rail. So I'm going to. Asterisk. 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 And I'm going to tab again to next. Next enter key to select. And press enter. Add phone number. And it asks if you want to add a phone number. I'm actually going to skip this step. New York, press the enter key to change. Edit box disabled phone number. Press the enter key to select. So I'll press enter here. Privacy and terms. Privacy and terms. By choosing I agree below, you agree to begin. You also agree to us, which describes the personal information you collect, the purposes for which we collect it, and how it is stored, including these key points. Data we collect and use when we use the Google. List shows three blah, items. Blah, blah, blah. Terms of service. <laughs> I'm tabbing Privacy again. Press the enter key to select. Tabbing again. List with you set up a Google account. We store information you give us like your name, email. List when you search for a restaurant on Google Maps or watch a video on List. We also collect and use the kinds of info. I'm I'll just tabbing key. through all of these things. List help our services deliver more use. List improve the quality of our services. List deliver personalized ads. List improve the And I'm market. looking for an agree button, which I know will be down here, and there it is. Agree. Before we started. Your Google account. Your Google account. And so we just kind of have an explanation here of what your Google account comes with, etc. So I'm just going to go to next and press enter. Checking in, checking info. And again, it says checking info. And I'm tabbing to see. Table next, press the enter key to run. Checking info. Set up please. Button disabled, continue, press the enter key to run. Now it wants my payment information, and I'm actually not going to fill that in in this video, so we're going to skip that step. I think from what we've shown so far, you do know how to fill in these edit boxes and navigate these screens. 
So you can save that part for later if you want, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say no thanks. And I'm tabbing to continue and pressing enter. And we're back in our settings dialog, which means we're done. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. As I said, you can log into your account anytime on the PC or from the Play Store or from here in settings, and you can actually add that payment information or change your account settings from here. And that's it. Thanks for watching. All right, I want to add as a caveat to that video, they do mention um, setting up a, a financial payment arrangement. That would only be something that you do if you have permission from a, a parent or guardian who says that that is okay. So please talk with your family before you would um, make a decision to put in a cre credit or debit card. That being said, this is a great time to pause the video and set up your own Google account. Go ahead and press play when you're ready to keep going. The next video is going to talk about the Google Play Store. Hi, I'm Jenny Axler. And in this video in our Polaris series, we're going to explore the Google Play Store and how to search for and download an application. I'm at the main menu right now, so I'm going to press the letter P to quickly jump to and open the Play Store. Feature new episodes on May 30th. Start your free trial today. Enter P to select. And it automatically places you in the updated content. Of course, it wants you to see all of the new featured items. So I'm going to press space one, two, three to jump to the top. Button show navigation drawing, enter key to select. And I'm actually going to press enter here. Menu navigation. And I can use F3 to explore what's in this menu. Enter key to select. Button Jennifer Kessler and switch account to one. Dot with Jennifer Kessler. Pins. Dot list apps and games. Enter key to select. List my apps and games. Enter key to select. And I just kept pressing F3, and my apps and games is what I'm looking for. I'm going to press Enter to open that. Play Store. Button Show Navigation Drawing. Enter key to select. And again, I'll use F3. My apps and games. Button Search Group. List updates. Enter. List installed. Enter key to select. List library. Enter key to select. Okay, so there are three things here of interest. There's updates, which will show all apps that need to be updated. There's installed, which will actually show all of the apps that are installed on this device. And then there's the library. This is going to be the most interesting if you already have a Google account and you would like to install all of the apps that you currently have onto your Polaris. If you go into the library, you can see all of the apps that are not currently on this device. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this, and we'll search for and download a new app. Search featured new episodes on May 30th. Start your free trial today. Enter key to select. And again, I get my featured items, so I'll jump to the top. Button show navigation drawing. Enter key to select. F3 to search. To select. Press enter. Search Google Play. And I'm going to press enter to enable the edit box. And I'm going to do a very popular search on our user list right now. I'm going to search for MP3. MP3. Recorder. O R R. And I'll press enter. Button back enter key to select. And I'm going to record and started. F3. Button MP3 recorder. Button voice search enter key to app. IQ MP3 voice recorder. Free. Star rated. 4.4. Free enter key to select. And as that happens to be the most highly recommended recorder on our user list by our blind users, I'm going to install that. So I'll press enter. And I'm going to press I. Button image of app or game icon for height. Button and again, in wish list, enter key to select. Button install, press the enter key. And to we get to our install button, so I'll press enter. Photos, media files, show details, enter key to select. Okay, now it's asking for app permissions. I'm going to jump to accept with the letter A. Button accept, press the enter and key press to load. Enter. And we Let's are start. now downloading Report and installing started. the app. Installing IQ, record and started. Okay, now I'm going to actually jump back into my main menu. Uh, file manager, F. And this time I'm going to go to my all apps. A capital T, T, S, voices. 
And I'm going to press the letter H. Hang out. And we got Hangouts. High Q MP3 3. And there is my High Q MP3 recorder that I just downloaded and installed. So that's all there is to it. Thanks again for watching. All right, so this could be a great time for you to take a pause and try downloading an app such as Go Read. And maybe you want to talk with one of your family members or a teacher about what other apps do you think that you might like to download on your Braille Sense Polaris. Maybe something to help you with school, maybe something for fun, similar to the recorder app. Either way, take a few minutes and check things out. All right, the next video that we are, and final video that we're going to take a look at is actually how you access Bookshare. Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Axler. And in this video in our Polaris series, we're going to explore how mainstream maps and our internal Braille Sense apps can work together. We're going to do that by downloading a book from Bookshare using GoRead and reading it with our Daisy player. I'm at my main menu, so I'll press A to open all apps. A couple of TTS voices. And I'll press G a few times to get to GoRead. Get there. Gmail. GoRead. And I'll press Enter. Press and play Enter key to select. Recording started. Polaris, an other story. And it opened um, in a book that's already open, which is interestingly enough called Polaris and Other Stories. So it got my attention. I'm actually going to go to the navigation drawer. So I'll press space one, two, three to get to the top. Polaris and Other Story, button open draw on the menu, enter key to select. And I'll press enter here. Menu. And I'm now in the menu and I'm again going to explore it with F3. Enter key to select. List navigation drawing and list my books. Enter list search book share. Enter key to select. And this is what I'm looking for, so I'll press enter. Book list title search. Enter key to select. And I'm going to press enter on title search. Enter title. And now I'm in the edit box, so I'm going to press enter to enable that. And I'll type in the ever popular N -A -R -R. Water. Potter. T E R. And we'll press. For example, Moby Dick or Pot, button OK, press the Enter key to F3 to get to OK, and press Book Enter. Fetching books. Please wait. And it's fetching Search books. Search Harry Potter and Tora, find Blue Screw Witch, Enter key to select. And now I have all kinds of Harry Potter related books. List Harry Potter and Philosophy, by Sean P. Klein, David Bliss teaching Harry Potter, by Becky Hare Stevenson, Catherine L. Belcher, Enter key to select. And as you can see, it's not just your normal Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, etc. There are all kinds of books that have been written about List the various Potter, Harry Potter books. Potter books. Enter key to select. Okay, we will actually download Harry Potter's bookshelf, so I'll press Enter here. Fetching, fetching book details. Please wait. Book details. And now it's giving me all kinds of information about Harry Potter's bookshelf. Again, I can explore all of this using F3. One of the first things I'm going to get to is download book, and I'm just going to go to that. Title, Harry Potter's, John Granger. Button download, text only. Press the enter key to run. And the text only is what Recording I want started. because I want it to open in our Daisy player, so I'm going to press enter here. Downloads, down, recording started. Book, button disabled, downloading book. Press the enter key to run. So it's telling me that it is downloading the book, and when it is finished, it will tell me... Book downloaded. The... Recording started. And there we go. The download is complete. So now I'm actually going to return to my main menu with F1. File Manager, F. And I can open the Daisy Player in a couple of ways. I'm going to choose to use the media buttons, so I'm going to switch the media mode switch to Daisy Mode. Daisy Mode. Okay, file manager. Edit. And now I'll just press the play button. And it should launch the Open Polaris Daisy dialog. Other stories, folder three slash six list item. It opened the Open Daisy dialog and it placed me in the folder from which I last opened a book, which just so happens to be the books folder in which Go Read books are stored. So I'm actually going to navigate up. Harry Potter's bookshelf folder to slash six list item. And there's my Harry Potter's bookshelf, so I'll press space. Selected Harry Potter's bookshelf to select it to and enter to open it. Set 100 notice. 
table of contents. And Tiny so page. now it's reading and I just pressed the play pause key again. I can use my record Even button readable. to navigate levels. Level one. And I'm to level one. And now I'm going to press the forward key. The Berkeley Publishing Group. And again. Published by the Penguin Group. Again. Introduction. There we go. Harry Potter's bookshelf. What this book tries to do and how. You can get the most out of it. This is the pause. Okay. And again, I'm pressing the pause key. So as you can see, this is very, very simple. You can also turn the voice off. Voice off. And just scroll the text with the braille display. And that's all there is to it. Once again, thanks for watching. All right, so this might be a great time to take a pause and log in to uh, Bookshare via Go Read if you have not done that already, and maybe search for a book or two. Try things out. I want to take a moment and to thank you for joining me in this eight video series. We covered a lot of content, um, a lot of commands, a lot of information. So um, give yourself a pat on the back and I hope that you've walked away learning some new things and feeling more confident about using your Belsynth Polaris. I want to encourage you to really use your resources and not only the resources that I have shared with you in the video descriptions, but use your use your teacher. Um, you know, don't be afraid to to Google something, to to look something up about the Polaris, read the manual. It has so much good information. Um, use the HIMS website. They have a lot of in, information and great how-tos on there. So use your resources. I want you to practice, practice, practice. The more you practice using this device, the more comfortable you will be, um, the more that the commands and shortcuts will become um, just memory to you and you will build and build and build on all the commands that you know. And then finally, if you find yourself getting stuck, take a break and don't give up. Learning a new, new device is challenging and it's okay to just give yourself a moment and regroup. Thanks so much for watching.